Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. EaseUS Partition Master is one of the best disk cloning applications and today I will show you how to easily clone disks using this application and you won't lose any data. For this I will use the new version of EaseUS Partition Master, this is the latest version and the cloning function in this application will not be free, but its diverse capabilities and impeccable performance are definitely worth the money spent. It doesn't matter whether you are cloning HDD to SSD, HDD to NVMe or SSD to NVMe. All the steps with these different drives will be the same. I open this PC, and here we see two drives connected to my computer. Drive C, this is the original Windows 11 drive, this is where my photos, videos, and some of my data are located, this drive is small in size and quite old, so I want to clone drive C to a faster 1TB SSD. First you need to download the disk cloning program EaseUS Partition Master. To do this, open the video description and click the link to the application download page. On the EaseUS website you can learn about the application in more detail, because in addition to disk cloning, EaseUS Partition Master has several other useful functions that may be useful for a computer user. To download the application to your computer, click here. To continue downloading the application, at this step you need to enter your email address. You don't have to worry, this does not oblige you to anything, here you can enter the details of any email, but if you want to receive the latest news from the manufacturer, check the box and enter your exact email. Then click here. In this window we see an interesting offer, here you can buy a license for a period of 30 days for a very small amount, or a perpetual license with a good discount from the regular price. I don't need to complete the purchase because I already have a license key, you can buy this app later, when you get a little familiar with it. Now we will download the free version, with its help you can expand the C drive and this will be done for free, the free version of Partition Master can also convert MBR disk to JPT and vice versa. To download the application, click here, then you can immediately start installing the application on your computer. The program is small and will load fairly quickly, the browser can be closed, and to start installing EaseUS Partition Master, click install. The installation of the application is complete and to start the application, click start now. In the window that opens, we see two disks connected to my computer, disk number 0 is the source disk with Windows, and disk number 1 is the target. Note that source disk number 1 has an MBR partition scheme, and disk number 0 has a GPT partition scheme, but for cloning to succeed, both disks must have the same partition scheme. For cloning to go smoothly, in my case I need to convert target disk number 1 to GPT, and then both my disks will have the same partition scheme. If your computer's original disk has an MBR partition scheme, then your second disk should also be MBR. To change the partition scheme, you need to open the partition disk converter. In this window I need to open a tab convert MBR to GPT, but if your source disk is MBR and the destination disk is GPT, then you need to open the convert GPT to MBR tab so that the destination disk ends up with the same partition scheme as your source disk. I open the convert MBR to GPT tab. Next. Then I click on the disk. And click convert. The conversion process will not take long, let's wait. The conversion was completed successfully, I hope that everything went well for you too, now open the window, Partition Manager. And so, my two disks have become GPT, and now you can start cloning, to do this you need to click, Disk Clone. In this window you need to select, Clone OS Disk. Next. As I said earlier, the free version of EaseUS Partition Master does not have the ability to clone disks and before you start cloning, you need to open the website page again and, in the step that I showed in my video, 
select and purchase the license key that suits you. Carefully study these offers and then click, get started, then follow the system's recommendations. I already have a license key, and when you receive your key, to register it, you need to click, here, and paste your license key into this field. And then click, activate. Registration was successful, OK, and now we see that my application has received pro status, and I can not only clone disks, but also use other cool features that are not in the free version of EaseUS Partition Master. To continue the process, you need to select target disk number 1. Next. The app warns that the cloning process will delete all data on the target drive, and if you're ready, click Yes. The source disk has already been selected, Click, Start. The application works great, the cloning process in it will take a little time, it depends on the configuration and speed of your computer and will last about 10 minutes. The cloning process has completed successfully, I will not change the settings in the BIOS and immediately close the application. To test how the new drive works, I will disconnect the original drive from the computer, but turn off the computer first. The target disk has loaded, and I don't notice any changes here, please note that on the desktop there are exactly the same folders with photos, videos and documents as it was on the source disk, all program and application shortcuts are located in the same places. I'll open this PC and will now look at my new target drive. Yes, everything is fine here and now the disk is almost 1 terabyte, this is my C drive. Now let's see if I still have my Microsoft license. I open, Settings, then the System section. Open the tab, Activation. Yes, everything is fine here, my Windows 11 was transferred to a new disk along with the license, I hope that everything went well for you too. I am grateful to the developers of EaseUS Partition Master for creating such an excellent program. This concludes my video tutorial, thank you all very much for your attention to my video and see you again on my channel. Good luck!